Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Ivo and welcome back to the Minecraft survival world. And in today's episode, we're gonna do something a little different. First things first, I gotta grab some blackstone out of these chests, because I got plenty of them. And I'm gonna just take these home, because I was bartering with the piglins, so I can get some blackstone. And we're gonna I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do in this video today. Alright, so we're here at the motel just for the stone cutter. So we can see what blackstone, how many combinations can blackstone have? Looks like there's a lot of options here. Uh, what are, uh. Oh, yeah, forgot to mention that I'm gonna make traffic signals. Because this is more like. This is more like modern. Um, I'm making more of like a modern town over here. I just wanna have traffic signals at the intersections. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Let's see how many combinations of what we got here. I think this one will look good. The blackstone walls will look nice. Plus, I want to make a smooth blackstone. I don't know if that's a thing. It's polished blackstone. That looks close enough. Yeah, I'll take polished blackstone. Yeah, maybe polished. Take that polished blackstone. That's pretty much that, I guess. So yeah, let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, we could, we're gonna need a couple more things. I made a bunch of sticks, and also I'm gonna get some leather. Why not? Because this is the part of the ingredient right here. I'll make some item frames. Boom, just like that. And also, we're gonna mold. What are you doing over here, huh? I gotta get you a job, buddy. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab something else that's gonna be essential. We made a farm with this that we we made a farm for this material in the, in a few episodes ago. Just glow ink sacks. So yeah, we're gonna need these. We're gonna pair this up with the item frame so we can make glow item frames. I, I really like these type of frames. They're pretty cool. And yeah, so I'm just gonna start off. I put in the frame at least. The frame would the, the traffic signal would be right here. Maybe like two blocks apart from each section. And I don't know how tall that I want it to be. I'm gonna grab some scaffolding because I know I'm gonna build a lot. Put some scaffolding just to make my life a little bit easier. And yeah, we're gonna grab some of the walls. Boom. I don't know how tall traffic signals are, are supposed to be. They probably should some of them are taller, or some of them are the same height as street lamps, but I don't know, maybe 10 blocks. So it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I guess. And then lever it down to the other way. I don't know how long, probably like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I guess. Maybe 9, I don't know. We'll just see how that looks. That well, looks fine, I guess. That's just the frame. I could extend it out a little more. But yeah, I'm going to get the rest of the materials. So I got sand. I got gravel. I also need yellow dye. I also need red dye. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll just use beetroot <laughs> for red dye. Because a lot of people don't know that beetroot can be used as red dye. Which is pretty weird enough, but okay. I'm also going to need lime dye. That's what we're going to bring out our seed pickles, and uh, we're going to need coral blocks and bone meal. So what I'm going to do next is, uh, I don't know what to use. I'll probably use this little pool area right here. Um, I'm going to get rid of some of these blocks, and I'm going to replace them with coral so that it could, so that seed pickles can grow on coral, because a lot of people... Oh god, that's a very weird sound for coral, but you know what, it's alright. It sounds like a slime block. Anyways, um, a lot of people may know that sea pickles are light source underwater. So yeah, just like that, it, it lights up the area real good. So you can place four of them in a circle like this, just like candles. But if we use bone meal on sea pickles, it spreads. Which is cool. I like that. Okay, lots of sea pickles just this way. And how many sea pickles we got? We got 30. Wow, that's a lot of sea pickles. 
Now, I don't plan to have this forever. I will make a sea pickle farm in the future, but that's not what we're going to do right now. And we're just going to need these for lime dye. The sea pickles make lime dye. A lot of you may know. So let's get rid of these. Very weird sound for sea pickles, but hey, it's whatever. It's been in the game for a while. See, I see. Makes lime dye when you put it in a crap. Oh no, you have to smelt it. That's right, you have to smelt it into lime dye. God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I thought you could just easily craft it into dye. No, you have to smelt sea pickles. Oh, okay, that's great. I didn't know there was a creeper in my house. Well, anyways, I fixed that, fixed that catastrophe. Wow. It's a bad thing you have soul torches in your house. It's not bright enough, but uh, it's, it's not the first time that it happened. Wait, what the? Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew I was missing something. There we go. That's supposed to be there. So, yeah, when you cook it, it turns it into lime dye. I'll just put more in there. So, yeah, I'll just grab that for now. You can, you can also make lime dye with white dye and green dye, which makes lime dye, of course, but I think sea pickles are a more easier way. And we're just gonna do this. Uh, where's my sand? I didn't put my sand away, didn't I? I did put my sand away. So I'll just do this. Put like that. Like this. We make concrete for that. Um, concrete for this. Concrete for that. So yeah. And I'm going to. I'm gonna put them in. I'm. I'm a. Uh, what do you call it? Put these in water, I guess. I'm gonna just make a little tower, just like this. I might have a water bucket, yeah, I do. I used to do this in Bedrock Edition all the time when I played Minecraft Bedrock. It, it, it's the same thing that happens all the time. So you just build up a little tower. You don't have to do this, but I just put water down. It goes all the way down. And I just mine all of it, just like this. Water flows down to all the concrete. Make it on my concrete powder. Or my concrete, whatever. Yeah, just like that. And let's let's actually move on to the traffic light. That I uh, need to finish off here. I think I need to extend it by two more, I guess. So, Oh yeah, you can't place that there. That's stupid. You can't place it on blocks like that. Yeah, I'm going to just have to extend it. I can reach it. I should reach it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, remove that block. Uh, I'll put polished right here. Um, should it be like one block out? I don't know if I'm concerned about that. Oh yeah, no, yeah. Should be. So it should stick out a little bit. Just like this. Then it sticks out like a sore thumb. Then I'm just put more scaffolding because I need to Go up a little more. Yeah, like right here. That'd be great. Go down. This one right here. Looks weird, but uh it'll look good in the end. I get the glow item frames. These things are so cool. Just like that. And then we all know how our traffic light looks. So it's red on top, yellow in the middle and green on the bottom. Yeah, just like that. That should look very nice. Yeah, it looks great. And I need to add a second one. I'm just starting off, so don't make fun of me. Don't make fun of me for making traffic signals, because I'm more of that modern guy. I'm not like, I'm not into medieval or anything like that. No, there's nothing wrong with building medieval, I'm just... I just like modern stuff a lot better. That's just my opinion. And modern requires a little more, uh, a little more, uh, professional blocks instead of wood and whatnot. It's like quartz or other things. So, I just did the same thing right, right here. If I can fill the, if I can fill the item frame. All right, that's that's great. Thanks for not letting me do that. Apparently I'm too far from the, the signal. It's fine, we'll just bridge across. Wouldn't be that hard. I'm supposed to be like, I'm in its face right now. 
same order. God, it's so hard. Oh my goodness. So hard to like do this. Yeah, that pretty much looks nice. It just needs a little bit of improvements. But I'll find out what those improvements are. But from the back. Yeah, it looks, it looks really nice. It looks like a really traditional signal. So I'm going to do the same for this side as well. Uh, yeah. It's like so. Um, yeah, I'll do it right here. Right here is a great spot to set it up. Place the scaffolding and then build it up by 10, like usual. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it should be the same height as that one over there. I don't know how long it should extend out to. Probably to like right here. So I get to the end of this one. Apparently. I don't know how long that is, but it's supposed to be like a few blocks. So that's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is probably like one. This is one, two. I, mean, I gotta look for it from below because I can't really tell from here. Just finish off that signal right here. So it should look identical to this one on this side right here. Now they may be a little bit too close to each other, but I don't know. But this is a very short intersection, so I guess, I guess they're supposed to be close like that. And then I should add one right here. Uh, I mean, I can make a really short one. Not too tall as these ones, not to the point where it just freaking goes all the way up right here. Make a short signal. But right here. So I'm going to need to build up a little bit for this one. Make it like three, and then I'm gonna just do this. With the cones and whatnot. Or maybe that's a little bit too close. Yeah, maybe a little bit too close. I wanna keep it like two blocks apart. This shouldn't be that hard to make uh maybe maybe three maybe i want three who knows just finish this off and put up the item frames uh yeah what how does that work i swear i didn't do that <laughs> I swear it's supposed to go in the item frame, but I guess it just went on the block, so yeah. God I hate shifting. I hate pressing shift on the scaffolding because it puts you down. Alright, there. I wanna see how that looks. Nah, that looks fine, I guess. It's not the best, but uh no, it will do for now. Then uh, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to make a banner. I don't know if it's possible to make a banner of a traffic sign up ahead. I don't know if we can do that, but uh, we'll see if it's possible. Okay, so I built the traffic sign just like this. Um, I'm going to use iron bars because they look kind of close to like an actual signpost. Just from that, and I don't know if it would look nice right here. I don't know, from a distance, it looks very similar to the traffic sign, um, traffic light ahead sign, looks very similar, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, it looks different, but, um, no, you know what, um, this, um, I'm gonna get a little bit taller, it wouldn't look nice if it was just wood. wood supports aren't it how about this and that looks really nice no it doesn't attach it looks nice yeah it looks nice and there's a traffic light ahead Boom. traffic right there so yeah I will show you how to make one so we're gonna start off the base with a black banner like this. Then we're going to grab some dye. So quickly you need one red, one lime, and two yellows. Two yellow dyes. So we're going to make red dye off the beetroot. 
we're gonna start off the uh we're gonna make it in the loom just like so and yeah put it in the loom uh red make sure it's the red inverted cavern right here do that put the lime it's the downwards one which is just a red or chevron my I meant <laughs> And then do this one, the uh, the round one, with the yellow die. And then use the yellow die once more to make this one. And yeah, that's pretty much your traffic sign right there. Now we're just gonna set up another one, not too far from the house, right here. I'll plant it right here. Oh uh, no. Don't want that. Like that. Pull out the scaffolding and make my life a little easier for once. Like this. Then put the signal. Or not the signal. <laughs> Sign. There you go. That's all you know there. There's a traffic. There's a traffic light ahead. So yeah, that's pretty much that. It's pretty simple and straightforward. And yeah, I'll just I'll build more. Cause I uh, I'll do the same thing for this side over here. Yeah, the road just keeps extending over here. You see all the uh, street lights and whatnot. Yeah, I'm gonna make one for this intersection as well. So yeah, there's gonna be plenty more where that come came from, but. Which I will have to end the video right here. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe if you have done so already. And hit the notification bell for more Minecraft content. See you guys in the next video. See ya.